Good morning. Today is the day. Heading to Clintonville, Wisconsin. Pick up our new XV3 trailer from Shut Industries. It's going to be about a nine hour drive, probably around 11 with snow and traffic. We'll be taking a tour of the facility, checking out all the features of the trailers, talking to Tim from X Ventures, delivering some beer. I'm Tim from X-Venture. Wanted to give you a quick walk around on the XV3. We are, uh, if, if you call X-Venture, they're usually gonna get me, so I'd be the one explaining this to you, walking you through it, helping you make your decision on uh, what, what you want, uh, how you want your trailer outfitted. So all of our X-Ventures start with a 100% aluminum construction. We use huck bolt uh, frame construction, which is the same we use on all of our military trailers. The, uh, the Huck Bolt is a patented aluminum, or patented Alcoa product, Alcoa the aluminum company. And what it does, it allows the trailer to flex without cracking. So it's uh, one of the most secure forms of construction for trailer frames. And that's the, that's the way we build all of our X-Venture trailers. Okay, let's talk about the uh, different options as far as storage and uh, and power on our X-Venture XV3 trailer. So this is the mid-size. We actually have a smaller box available as a standard. This box is our mid-size box, and we actually have a galley box. All, and one of the things I uh, forgot to mention is, is we Linex all these, the boxes as well as the frames, as well as the uh, cargo box of the trailer and the steps and fenders. So in this particular configuration, we have a dual battery system, single battery is standard but the batteries run your water pump and your lighting system if you care to add a compressor or any other electricals there's extra uh, circuits available for that so this particular trailer comes with rack lights it comes with a rock lights which are four lights under one under each one of the uh, steps and then it also has two bed lights and what I found is, for me personally, obviously you're going to use the rack lights when you're doing stuff around the trailer, but the, uh, the rock lights are nice when you're sitting around the campfire, nice because it just gives you enough light, ambient light, but it's not in your face. But when you need the light to actually, whether you're cooking or, or putting something together outside, getting ready for camp, you have that availability. So with our power control system, we have two different inputs. This is, this is our shore power, so this is a, uh, it's just where you plug in, like so if you're, whether you're at home and just in between trips or whether you're storing it for the winter, this has got a charge management system that is marine grade, so what it does for us is it allows it to be plugged in constantly and it'll keep your batteries maintained and it'll keep your batteries fresh and up to charge. Also has a solar input, that goes to our ZAMP solar controller, which also gives you a current reading on your battery voltage. And uh, we, have a, we have a fuse panel here, so all the, all the circuits are fused. The other thing that this box holds is optional water heater. And because of the room in the box, we get to keep everything connected. Okay, you got your uh, water heater connected to the side. 
connect the propane just like any propane appliance pretty simple you just screw it on there and then we come over here to the hose with a quick disconnect so you un there's a protection plug and then you just push the uh, hose in snaps in place and just like your shower at home you got a shower head that has different you know uh, water patterns coming out and then you can control the flow and the heat the amount of heat you want right here on the side of the shower so simple and and really works as well as it does at home as we uh, we go from the front to the back we'll start up top this is the uh, Rhino Rack Pioneer Tray, which is uh, a really great product. They've had this out for a number of years and you can get it for virtually any vehicle. Fits great on the XV3. Our standard rack is just a crossbar kit, which you can mount any tent to, uh, but the upgrade is, is the Pioneer Tray. And what that allows you to do is, is mount a lot of different accessories that, uh, that go on racks like this. Also is where we mount all our lights. These are, these are stainless steel tubes. That it's actually the same tube we use on our XV2 for the elevating rack. This is a static rack, so uh, it's, this is a fixed height for this rack, but uh, very stable and very strong. Standard on X Venture XV3 is a drop down stabilizer, rear stabilizer. So what you do, you just, they're spring loaded, so you pull them out, you drop them down, pull this handle, and then you secure them. Typically what I will do is I will drop the front end of the trailer down a little bit, set these, and then bring the front end down so they're secure. There is a bar that you can, you can tighten them down as, as tight as you want to go, but it gives you the stability that this thing is going to be uh, nice and stable when you're sleeping in that rooftop tent. So as we go to the back here, swing out tailgate. And the tailgate also comes standard with a stainless steel table that is uh, 36 inches long, so it's a great place for a work area or for your, uh, you know, setting your food or whatever. You have a bed that is accessible. This is a Truxedo rolling hardcover, and the nice thing about this hardcover is not only security for everything in the bed of the trailer, but it also rolls off and you can put up to 400 pounds of payload on top of it e evenly distributed. As you move into the cargo bed, Again, Linex coated, so it's going to be protected. It's going to be, uh, you know, long life. Also, we also have lights, two different lights in our cargo bed, and then we have four tie downs for securing any of your gear. The nice thing about this trailer, being aluminum and the way we build them, if you want to add additional tie down points, that's something you can do, and you're not going to affect the integrity of the trailer. Also, on each side of the trailer in the rear here, we have we have 12 bolts. So if you want to put a fridge back here, if you want to put basically anything else that runs on 12 volt, you can uh, you can plug it in right there. And those those are hot all the time, just like they are in your car or truck. So you can run whatever you need. Our standard axle on the XV3 is a Dexter rubber torsion axle, and it comes with the uh, six on five and a half volt circle, which matches the Toyota. It also is available in this configuration, as you can see, with the five on five to match Jeep rims. We can match any, any hub you have or any rim that you have. This axle also comes standard with electric brakes, which is standard on all of our X-Venture trailers. X-Venture also comes with parking brakes on both sides for the, the left and rear tires. So you just pull that out. They can be adjusted as needed, but it, it allows you to uh, secure your trailer without having to chalk the wheels when you, uh, when you first make camp. So the ARC XO jack is what we're using on the X-Venture trailer now, and this is the best jack on the market. Uh, dual wheels, so it's easy to move around on a flat surface, easy to adjust uh, both with the crank and to swing it out of the way with the uh, adjustable handle. As part of the uh, braking system with the Dexter axle and on the X-Venture trailer, we also have an emergency breakaway system, which is this cable, and the connection, so if, it, if your trailer would ever come uncoupled from your vehicle, those brakes, your electric brakes, are gonna automatically engage for safety. Standard on the X-Venture trailer is the Max Coupler 360 degree uh, hitch, which allows you to, it, it bolts on just like a regular ball hitch would, but it allows 360 degrees articulation. So your, your trailer can get in a completely different configuration as your vehicle as you're going through the trails and you don't have to worry about it uncoupling like it could from potentially from a ball hitch. 
Here we're taking a look at the uh, water tank. And the nice thing about this thing, 22 gallon food, food grade water tank with a 12 volt DC pump, but in a heavy duty skid plate. This water tank sits right above the axle under the bed of the trailer. Turn on a switch, you got instant on water and the uh, fill is on the outside of the trailer for the XV3. Great little system. One of the exciting parts of what we do is based on our military heritage, same frame, same construction, we have never had a chassis fail. All aluminum construction, these trailers as you've probably seen on the YouTube channel, these trailers have gone from Alaska to the tip of South America without any issues as far as the trailer is concerned. It's just, it, it's one of those trailers you're going to buy and you're going to pass it down to multiple generations. Now that you've seen the Xventure side of what Shut Industries can do, take a look at what we can do with our military side. Got the trailer and I'm heading out of Clintonville back to Lexington. This thing pulls like a dream. I can barely tell it's back there. Can't wait to take it out and test it on real trails. Yeah.